Uh, for all three prime crew members, Terry Virts, Anton Shkaplerov, and Samantha Christoforetti, can you talk about your qualification exams last week, particularly in the Soyuz, and what kind of challenges you faced, and how you worked together as a team? So the examination process in Russia is different than we do at NASA. Uh, the whole crew reports into a commission, and the commander chooses a card, and on that card is written all of the all the off-nominal situations that we have. And so we do the entire process from launch to docking to landing, um, but the crew has done so many sims together, and I was very lucky to fly with Anton and Samantha, who uh, basically know everything by heart. And so uh, the exams went very well for our crew. They, they did a great job. I can only add about the f situations we had for the vehicle. We had the atmosphere purification unit uh, malfunction and by oil at the first stage at the uh, ascent and docking of the uh, station. We had a course malfunction that enables the vehicle to dock to the station. So we had to uh, take over and perform control manually. So Samantha and myself performed an uh, uh, excellent docking and after after lunch when we were uh, running the descent uh, simulation uh, we had a uh, main thruster uh, Retrograde thruster failure SKD. We switched to smaller uh, DPO uh, thrusters, rendezvous and docking thrusters, and we landed successfully and had an excellent grade. Thank you very much, Samantha. Well, everything has been said. The only thing I, I'd like to add is that you know you, you show up in the morning, you report to the commission, and there's like five envelopes in in front of you, uh, and. Each envelope contains the exam scenarios, and of course, some envelopes are more difficult than the other ones. And one of the most difficult ones is the fire, because it's uh, it's demanding in terms of the actions you have to do, but it's also demanding because it's physically, you know, it gets hot, it, it, it's physically challenging. So the backup crew reports on the first day for the Soyuz exam, and then on the second day, when the prime crew shows up, there's only four envelopes left. Um, when we were backup, we were nice enough to pick the fire scenario on our backup day, so the prime crew didn't have to deal with that. And I have to thank our backup crew because they did the same for us. They happened to pick the fire scenario, and so we went into our exam knowing that at least we would not have any fire. Good yes. Well taken also spectacles, he chose people stretch us around a little bit. It does. It needs to be. What's the Navy commercial and global force for good? We need to be bigger.